The valleys of Songju County are some of the most fertile in South Korea. 70% of South Korea's melons are grown here, the yellow fruit providing income for many farmers. Some worry their livelihoods are threatened because of the government's decision to install a missile defense system nearby. I think the reputation of Songju melons will be damaged because no one can say for sure that the radars won't affect us here. The U.S. THAAD system emits radiation from its radar, which seeks out incoming missiles at high altitude. The South Korean government's initial assessment found there would be limited impact on the environment, but more studies are being done. Hundreds of protesters tried to stop the installation, but all rocket launchers and radar equipment are in place. The THAAD system is located on an old golf course just a few kilometres in that direction. The area was chosen in part because there aren't many people living here, but there are populated areas nearby. And now they have a military facility very close to them, there is a concern they could become a target in the unlikely event of war. Despite the opposition, the presidential election in May saw most people here vote for candidates who support THAAD. Huang Jiangkun blames leftist radicals for stirring up opposition to it, but even he is a little worried given the increased tension on the Korean peninsula. If North Korea fires a missile, we can't rule out the possibility of a miscalculation. And if they aim to attack important facilities like THAAD or nuclear power plants, there is a possibility they'll make a mistake and those missiles could land near here. South Koreans remain largely ambivalent to the threat from the north. They think war is unlikely. People in this quiet part of the country felt particularly removed from the threat until the missile defences were brought a lot closer to home. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Songju, South Korea.